Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? I hope everybody's doing well out there. Last video, I showed you how I created the new full rock background for Shy, my juvenile ornate now monitor. Using foam boards, grout, and acrylic paint. It's now time to put that background in a 150 gallon tank to give it a slight upgrade. Let's get to it. Okay, the moment of truth. Before laying the substrate, I want to make sure the fitment is correct, nice and tight. Next, I'm going directly to pouring my substrate. I'm using two 24 quart bags of Eco Earth loose coconut fiber from Zoomed. I want it to be about four inches deep since Sha loves to dig. I want the whole base to be completely covered. Next, I'm pouring in two 24 quart bags of jungle mix from Zilla. This mix consists of fur, sphagma moss, and peat moss. The reason I'm using these products over wood chips is because it's loose, soft, and for easy cleanup, giving the lizard a soft terrain to explore and dig. Using a short plastic shovel, I'm mixing the two contents together to give it a good mixture all over. Finally, I'm adding some place sand to give it more of a permeable presence for humidity. Place sand is safe. It will not get lost in the digestive tract. It's easy to work with, and most of all, it's cost effective. Using my shovel, I'm mixing it in with the substrate until it is one with the other contents. All three of the contents together will help retain humidity within the cage. Digging low in the back side, I can insert the background and completely bury the bottom of it in the substrate until the weight snugly keeps it in place. Throwing some of the substrate on the ledges of the background, to me it gives it more of a realistic look. A bit more sand and mix at the top layer for more of a beach feel. Digging a spot for the water dish. Placing the water dish and bury the outside. Now to the other side. Digging a short trench to place the high box so it can fit snugly in the corner. then bury the outside. Placing the basking log for the basking area. Adding in these fake plants in these glass pots for now. I completely bury the pot while the faux grass only extends. Using some more sand for top covering to give it more realism with the beachy effect. I use some suction fake greenery, which I'm not too much of a fan of. 
placing different faux plants for now until I figure something else to use since I'm not fully ready for real plants. Ornate Niles love foliage because it gives them the illusion that they are hidden and unseen. There's pros and cons to that, but we'll get on that in another video. The moment of truth is to place her in and see how she responds. After a day or two, it's now time to place Shy in her upgraded enclosure. I think she likes it. What you all think? The consistent flickering of the tongue is her way of taking it all in. She's wondering. What is this? This is new. Let me explore and monitor. <laughs> I'm happy with the colors I use for the background because it's almost a dead on match to hers. Thank you all for watching. Stay in tune for more videos I put out in the near future. Y'all take care out there. Peace. Take your love away Cause it's so